All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone rule will. And peace, love, and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and true sincerity. And just like a walk and talk, I think the last time I did one on these railroad tracks, it was like summertime. You know, but now we're in the uh, fall time. Which uh, presents a lot of spirits. So I want to title this, Watch Out for These Spirits. Watch Out for These Demons. Because there's a lot of spirits and a lot of demons out here. And it's past Halloween, as you can see. Today is November 17th, 2021. The year of hastening unto the day of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And today... Uh, young Dolph's got his uh, wig split. He's dead. He got shot up. And um, and just a day two, I believe it's the uh, Beaver Blood Moon, and it's going to be an eclipse. If if it wasn't already today, but with that red moon, if you didn't see it today, I, I mean through the spirit, I knew something was going to happen today. I just didn't know this famous rapper was going to get shot. And uh, there's a lot of demonic energy out here, so I'm gonna just quote some scriptures. Uh, this is Ephesians 5 and 15 You know to be circumspect man You got to watch your surroundings People are just bugging out People are on high, uh, drugs People are drinking high doses of alcohol they, they, there's, there's people at your job right now Who drink Look at your job and they openly let you know that Hey uh, do you want some of this You know these people are depressed And here it is we tell them the truth Hey the truth shall set you free Alright so we got to be circumspect in our surroundings, watching our surroundings, watching these spirits. You don't want these bad energies and these bad spirits to rub off on you. You know, it rubs off on another brother or another, you know, somebody that knows his faith. You got to watch your energy in this time. You know, like the bishop in our congregation, uh, Bishop Atazawam, one of the words uh, for the week was uh, out season mentality. It's starting to get cold. You know, a lot of food is being served, even though, um, you know, people are out here trying to get into the Thanksgiving spirit. Hopefully this is the last Thanksgiving. People are, are in the comfort zone right now, you know. And then when they can't have their comfort, they, they start bugging out. And, you know, you see it with these people. All right. You know, Exodus 23 and 2 tells you to uh, fall out of multitude the evil to do evil. And look what happened with those people at that Travis Scott concert. You know, a lot of these people, man, they in the time of getting judgment and you don't want to be around these people. That's why these lessons go around to be about, you know, keeping a distance from people who don't know the truth, man. If you're around, if you're around a bunch of like minded brothers, you know, get around a godly man. Don't get around these niggas and these people with these uh, demonic spirits on them. You know. Uh, yeah, so Rock 32 and 11 talks about getting me home without delay. You know, I wanted to get out here, get a little walk in, but I'll be taking my home, my ass home pretty soon, man. Especially when it gets dark out here. You know, the freaks come out at night, man. You know, you know, it's, it's too, uh, you know, it's just a lot of spirits out here. A lot of people just, uh, you know, have wrong intentions. These women, they're opportunists. You know, people are not working, so they don't have any money. You know, you got to watch out for your surrounding situations. And uh, watch out for Satan, man, because Satan is working. You know, I had an example today at my job where this guy tried to snap on me uh, because some co-worker, some lady co-worker said hello to me. And he thought I was talking to her like I was trying to get at her when I just said, hello, how you doing? And obviously this guy, he's married. And she's married, so they're they're committing that workplace adultery, man. You know, you gotta be you gotta be careful of these women, man. Every single of these women out here, they got some guy in the backdrop, man. They're talking to you, and if it don't work, they got a, they got another two, three guys in the backdrop, man. You gotta watch out for these women during this time. Women in that comfort zone is getting cold outside. You know, they're starting to pack on pounds. You know, the bishop also said, you know, being a spirit of Working out, I'm just taking a light brisk walk right now. You know, get some breathing in, maybe jog a few. You know, get some cardio in. We gotta stay on top of our game because Satan is coming harder. 
that's why I said, you know, watch out for these spirits. It, it might just, it might not be a woman. It might be that spirit of depression trying to get on you because it's getting colder out here. And another thing that the bishop said is act like it's summertime. You know, you got to psych your brain out sometimes, man. You know, this is a, a race of endurance, man. We got to endure these winter months. You know, going to camp in the cold. You know. These demonic holidays, we gotta we gotta just watch out for these spirits, watch out for these demons. Alright. Um let me see another scripture was uh I think it's in Luke 21 and 25. You know, watch as well as pray. You know, I speaking to myself first and foremost, paying attention to more prophecies, you know, see what's going on in the news, and most of all praying. You know, the scriptures say, brethren, pray for us. But, you know, pray for the brothers. It might be a brother going through the same situation that you're going through. And, uh, hey, brother's prayers are getting answered. So have faith that your prayers get answered out here. But, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, just be aware of these uh, demonic spirits out here. You know, be circumspect out here. You got to watch out for everybody, man. You know, people are just amping up. It's gonna be more chaos, more uh, all hell breaking loose. We just gotta be. The scriptures say, "Be uh, if thou faint in the day of adversity, that strength is small." You know, so watch out for these little uh, a petty setups that Satan might try to set up for you. You know, watch out for these spirits. You know, sometimes we go out here and deal with these people, man. It's best to keep your head down, man, because you know if you look at one of these jakes the wrong way. You know, they're going to try to start something, man. You know, if I see two J if I see a pack of Jakes walking down the street and I'm trying to jog or walk, I'm walking across the street, man. You got to be circumspect of your own people. The heathen and Esau, man. Can't be ignorant of Satan's devices. So, hey, Lord, when I was edifying, just, you know, quote some scriptures. If you had the time, go back and read them. Uh, let me just reiterate. Um... See what I got here. All right, I got uh, yeah, I quoted Sirach 32 and 11, Ephesians 5 and 15, Exodus 23 and 2, and then another one is pro another good one is Proverbs uh, 15 and 1. I think it says, uh, soft words, uh, what does it say? Soft doubt, soft words. Uh, slow down anger, but a grievous. No, it's it's a Proverbs 15 and 1. It's basically just washing your tongue, you know, saying not saying grievous words to get these people stirred up, you know. But uh, hey, with well, Lord willing, that, with that, that was edifying. I want to say shalom.